Good morning. Welcome to my channel, Dougie Shaven. The sun is coming up here in Austin, Texas, and it's time for my morning shave. Got me a nice cup of fresh ground Cafe Verona from Starbucks here. Ah, get my caffeine on. This morning, I'm going to be starting off with a theme. It's a Christmas theme, folks. Got my Pro Rasso, has eucalyptus and menthol in it. Got my wonderful Yaki Ferrari 26 millimeter in my nice Hendrix and Classics stainless steel bowl. I've got a nice, well hydrated lather. And just off my Imperia La Roca strop. I have my Ralph Aust 5 eighths Spanish point. Just put it on the 8,000, uh, my 12,000 and my 16,000 stones. Gave it a nice refresher. Looking forward to that. And today we are partying with PAA Kane. Love this stuff. Absolutely love it. Right off the nose, peppermint. But then it comes in a really crisp, clean, powdery barbershop scent. So it's, it's like a Christmas barbershop all up in there. And we're going to be finishing off with the matching splash. Going to be smelling good on the golf course today. Getting ready to go play 18 with the fellas. Just got out of a nice hot shower. Let's get rocking and rolling. Nice warm water to the face. 24 hour beard growth here. Looking forward to this shave. I love my Ralph Aust. Now that I got it nice and freshened back up, it's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a good day. My, I've been putting real well. Um, my short game is on point. Hope my driver is going to play friendly with me today. <laughs> Luckily, the wind has died down out there. Um, this past week, during the week, it's been really windy. So, the wind has given us a break today. Hopefully, I can find some fairways and some greens. Just marked my balls last night. My golf balls. With my Sharpie. I put a red and a blue dot on all of my balls. Got a nice fresh set of Pro V1s ready to fly, baby. Uh, and this, I got to tell you, man, this PAA cane is absolutely wonderful. It's, it's, it's got that menthol. Definitely the peppermint, which is working really well with my Pro Rasso pre-shave with the menthol in it and nice tingly, getting all the feels this morning, folks. Oh, yeah. And my Yaki Ferrari. Gotta love it. So going back a few years, if, if you've seen my Instagram or my Tweety or my Facebook, you know I've played rock and roll for a long, long time. And I remember back in the day, this is late 70s, folks, when, uh, when you know, you can only get vinyl and cassettes. And I think, I think 8-track had been you know, kind of phased out by then. But I was listening to the radio in Houston, Texas. And this song came on 101 KLOL. Killer, killer guitar solo. And I'm like, oh my God, you know, I've never heard anything like this. And, uh, First pass, folks, with the grain. 
So I hear this thing and I'm like, holy macaroni, who is this band? And they said, it's a band called Van Halen. And I'm like, oh my God. So I grab my, all my allowance that I had. And back in the day, albums were like $7 and 50 cents for the vinyl. Oh baby, that is really nicely sharpened. $7.50 for the vinyl. And I, I grabbed all of my allowance, hopped on my mongoose bicycle and headed to the Kmart where they had all the albums for sale. And went through the, went through the, 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 the thing, you know, and that was back when you could look at albums, you know, and it was, It was cool to look through the albums. That's what I would do. Whenever I'd go into the store, mom would be shopping. I'd go over and I'd look at the rock and roll albums. And so I went down there and I was like, sweet. I'm getting soap all over my face, man. I was like, sweet, man. You know, I'm going to get the Van Halen album because I got I to gotta have this, you know. And... Mm, great feedback, audio feedback on those whiskers being whacked. Um, so I went in there and I was like, sweet, I'm going to, I'm so going to snag this album, you know, and I go over to that things and there's two Van Halen albums, Van Halen one and Van Halen two. And that was all that was out at the time. And so... I was like, well, I looked at both of them. They didn't tell me the name of the song. Uh, they just said it was Van Halen. So I didn't know. And I'm sitting there with my $8, you know, of well, hard saved, you know, allowance money. And I'm ready to make my purchase. Oh, what a buttery smooth edge this is. I mean, that Shapton 16,000 finisher, man. Whew, love that thing. I haven't gotten into the J-Nats yet. That's a, another rabbit hole that I don't want to go down at this point. Stretching my skin a little bit. By moving my face. So I look at both albums and I'm like, you know, the, the song was just on the radio. It's got to be Van Halen 2, you know? So I go up and I buy Van Halen 2. Now on a side note, I've seen all incarnations of Van Halen, every single one. I saw the David Lee Roth era. I saw the Sammy Hagar era. I saw Gary Sharon. I don't know why I went to that one. Wow. I think I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. And then of course the Wolfgang era, Van Halen. And I've just, I've just been a huge fan of Van Halen. Just that's, that's just the way it is. The Gary Sharon era. One thing I will say, Michael Anthony got to sing lead on a couple of songs. And that guy has got a great voice. That guy has got a killer voice. But anyhow, so I get my album home and I put it on. On the old turntable. A few folks know what that is. <laughs> and then, oh man, great, great show. Nice residual 
from the PAA. Really great scent. I'm, I'm, I'm really pepperminty. I'm really barbershop. I mean, it's, it's, it's this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this a lot this year. I can tell you that right now. This is gonna be. You're gonna see a lot of this stuff. So I listened to the album, front to back. I don't hear the song that I want. <laughs> I'm like, well, damn, man. You know, I got the wrong album. Turns out I wanted to hear Eruption, you know, and of course, that's what Eddie Van Halen was known for, was Eruption. And, you know, back in the day, you'd listen to the album three or four times in a row. You know, if you got a 45, you've listened to that sucker, you know, that was your playlist, how you stacked your 45s on your turntable with that little thing you'd put in the middle of the record. Forget what they called that. But I listened to that bad boy probably 20 times, and I just fell in love with Van Halen. I was like, this is a rock and roll band right here. Total rock and roll band. And that started my long love with, with Van Halen. Um, once I saved up enough money, I went out and I got Van Halen one and, but Van Halen two is chock full of really, really, really superb hits. So pass two across the grain. So back in the day when I was, when I was a young little buck, my mom didn't want me to go to concerts because they're doing drugs and it's loud and whatever. You know, I'm like, come on, you know. So I would tell my mom, uh, you know, I'm going to spend the night over at uh, so-and-so's house. You know, and I would spend the night, but their parents would let them go to concerts and we'd go to the concert. And I remember in... 1976, I was in the sixth grade, y'all. And I went to the Destroyer, the Kiss Destroyer concert, and it was just awesome. I nick myself, guys, but unlike other people, I don't stop it, man. If I'm bleeding, I'm bleeding. <laughs> Sorry. So I went to the, the, the Kiss concert. And we had, of course, nosebleed seats way up there. And way the hell up there. And I saw Gene Simmons. spit blood and blow fire. And I said, that's what I want to do, you know. And got my first bass guitar. And taught myself how to play bass. So we were at a Black Sabbath concert. And I forget for whatever reason, my mom called over <laughs> to the house that I was staying at, spending the night. Oh, they're not here. They're at the concert. <laughs> And I got busted, man. Mom was pissed. And so then she started, whenever a good concert would come around, 
you know, she would be like, you know, you're not going to that concert, you know, and I'm like, but mom, you know, it's Boston. I got to see Boston. And, uh, so that was the, 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 the end of my concert thing for that, for the time being. Now, when Van Halen came around, um, I had to smart, no, I had to wisen up. I was like, I got, you know, this is Van Halen. I don't care. I'm going to do whatever I can to go see Van Halen. So, so I'm like, I got, I got to see Van Halen regardless. So, at the summit in Houston, Texas, where they used to have concerts, my mother's favorite singer, Roger Whitaker, was was coming to town. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take mom to a concert and she's gonna see, you know, what what what's what it's all about. It's Roger Whitaker, you know, he's an older dude. I mean, it's not like Van Halen. But anyway, I had my sights on seeing Van Halen. So I got my grandfather to get me and mom two tickets to go see Roger Whitaker at the summit where Van Halen was going to be playing. Oh, this is a great scent on this stuff, man. Really, yeah. Really super wonderful soap. Go PAA, you know. Um, and so I, I took her to the show. We went and saw Roger Whitaker. You can YouTube him, folks. He's an old dude. And I was like, see, Mom, going to concerts isn't that bad. Now, this was 1979. Things were different back then. And so uh, this past, folks, we are going against the grain. So I was like, you know, see, it's not that bad, mom, you know? And mom was like, you know, it's really not that bad. And so, I was able to go see in 79 Van Halen's Van Halen 2 show. And this show was actually at the uh, Uh, the Coliseum, not the Summit. This was a different venue altogether. But, and it was brutal. I mean, it was completely brutal. I can't remember who opened up for Van Halen, but there were fights everywhere and just, you know, weed smell everywhere, and it was brutal. But I got to see the mighty Van Halen in their youth, which was incredible. And that's what I was really there for, was to, you know, see my boy Eddie. And I got to see Michael Anthony, I mean, the best backing vocalist there ever was in the world. Shaving with the straight is hard. <laughs> Shaving with the straight in a camera, harder.
got this weird growth right here with my way my hair grows and uh you got to really get down on it to get it good I there yeah. got it um but I got to see the mighty Van Halen in their youngness and saw them every tour after that. And I got to tell you, when Eddie passed away, I mean, I, nobody knew anything about it. You know, we didn't know he was sick. You know, I was kind of, there were rumors that Van Halen, the originals were going to get back together, which in my opinion, that's the real Van Halen. Diamond David Lee Roth was the man, as far as I'm concerned. Ah, great three passes, got my spot. Relatively low nicks here. Nice warm water rinse. I'm going to be killing it on the golf course today. Ooh, baby. Nice. Yeah, man. Refreshing your, your jam on the stones makes a difference. Cold water rinse here. Close the pores. Oh, man. With all the menthol and everything and that in the, in the soap, gives it a real nice... Nice feel with that cold water. My Lancaster. Hey Brent, I get to use my Lancaster. You don't till Christmas, nanny nanny. Oh, so choice. Ah, good stuff. Got my Thayers here, unscented, because I wanna, I wanna smell like peppermint and barbershop all day. Just shaved my neck. I'm going to get that back there. Ah. And finishing off with the splash. Shake it up, baby. Ooh, feel the burn. Oh man, I mean, total peppermint, powdery barbershop. Great stuff. Ah. ah, folks, thank you for joining me again on my channel. I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day. And I'll see you again real soon on Dougie's Shaving.